back to the finals of Dancing with the Stars on this all-important last night of voting for our new champions. We're giving each of our three finalists the chance to tip the scales in their favor before they dance live. They've chosen their favorite ballroom and Latin dances from this season as the best examples of why you should vote for them. Up next, NSYNC star Lance Bass and his partner, Lacey Schwimmer. I would say our best ballroom is the tango. Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah, that was the first week I felt like we were actually in contention with this show. It was fun, it was creative, yeah. and it was very risky. We've taken many risks this competition, and sometimes they don't work, but with our tango, it was the first time that it really worked. After we danced the tango, I knew that we had a chance to make it to the finals. If our tango was the best ballroom dance we had, I would say that our best Latin dance was our mambo. Oh, yeah. That one rocked the house. And you know what's funny is we weren't even expecting the mambo to be that big of a hit. I know. We were really focusing on our jitterbug <laughs> that week. We were like, this has to rock. This is the one we get tens on. And then we did the mambo. We're like, oh, wow. That was, that was really actually good. good. <laughs> After doing the mumbo, I definitely thought that I had a shot of getting to the finals and getting this trophy. Like, it was something that just snapped in me, and it gave me the encouragement and the confidence I needed. Lance deserves to win the trophy because he's the most improved dancer on the show. Six, seven, ten! <laughs> Lance is the only celebrity to beat Brooke this entire season. Lance has had the biggest lead ever going into the finals. He had an eight-point lead over the rest of the pack, and that is pretty darn impressive. And uh, I think he's peaking at just the right time. I feel like America wants to see somebody come from nothing and go and do something great, and I really feel that Lance has done that. That mambo kicked off a heck of a night for you two last week. 
That can give you great momentum going into this week or risk overconfidence, well, which is it? That. I'm just saying it could go either way. We'll what stick have you with been momentum doing? for sure. Have yeah. you been working on not being overconfident? Uh, I mean, we've just been working so hard on these last three dances. Uh, it's ridiculous. My brain is so fried right now. It's now the nuts. folks at home are going to see some footage later in the show that I've oh, already great. seen okay. of you all rehearsing together, and I noticed that the competitiveness is much more out there than it ever has been. Really? We're having a lot of fun. We are. You know, we're all smack talking with each other. We're all really good friends, but it's all in good Isn't it fun. amazing? I feel like we're back in the political campaigns again. <laughs> we're so diplomatic. You'll see the video. You judge for yourself. Uh, Warren and Kim are up next. Last week, our three ballroom kid finalists danced for your votes. After this break, we'll reveal which of them you chose to become our junior champions when we present the trophy live.